So as you guys can probably hear in the background, we've been messing with, uh, we've been messing around with a, doing a phaser tone print. Right. Yeah. Um, I know it's tough to describe sound. Can you maybe explain a little bit about what we've been working on to to kind of achieve with the effect? Yeah, I think that you know the the typical guitar. You know, I grew up in the in the in the era when uh, there was only one phaser available, the, the MXR yeah. Phase 90, and that's become a classic, it of is. course. Um, but uh, but with this, what you've shown me and what's available uh, editing-wise, you can really get into. Of course, when you get into the different stages, you get into the Mutron yeah. thing, which a lot of like the in the 70s, uh, you know, a lot of the kind of jazz fusion guys yeah. were using Mutron on keyboards yeah. and. Um, and so that's, and even on bass and stuff. So that, it's really nice to have a pedal that can, that can cross all the phaser worlds. Yeah. If you want the phase 90 thing, that, that typical, um, you know, kind of uh, notched, you know, EVH. Yeah, exactly. You know, kind of for album one sound. Yeah. You know, you can get that with this. Uh, but also, you know, you can delve into other things. There were some things that you did with the regeneration that... <clears throat> Uh, I was always a big Steve Hackett fan from yeah. Genesis. Now, I don't know what kind of phaser he used, but uh, uh, there were some things that he did on, um, on uh, 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 Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, Broadway yeah. right? Where the guitar was totally modulated, yeah. and you were able to call up some of those sounds. So that's great. I'm going to spend some more time oh, cool. you know, with this and, and, uh, and, and create some other stuff. But I came up with something with your help that I think is... You know, first thing I'll say is that the phaser sounds really musical with a distorted amp, which a lot of phasers I've always found don't. Um, you know, something about about you know the, the phase ninety works well with distortion at a certain setting, yeah. uh, but other phasers I found you know are not as musical as this. So whatever you guys have done to to keep it so that when it's distorted, it sounds. Lush. Yeah, you don't want it to overtake the sound. Sometimes it's like you hear more of the modulation than the actual guitar right, sound. Right. That's the that's yeah. the tricky bit, I think. That's right. Yeah, and it's uh, it's it's um, it becomes part of the the guitar sound rather than on top of the yeah. guitar sound. So I'm you know I didn't know what to expect honestly, and it's really really oh, impressive. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. So um, can you play a little bit so the yeah, guys so can I'll, hear? Yeah. I'll play. Uh, this is my tone print that we've done here in the in the hotel ballroom <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I'll start with everything at, 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 at 12 and uh, give you an idea of where we started out yeah. from and then I guess we'll show them some of the ranges. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great example how it stays within the note. Yeah. You know, it's, it doesn't sound layered to me. It's <laughs> There's a real, uh, the sign of a great phaser is when you can play chords against it, you yeah. know, and, and uh, I love that the, when, uh, when Alan Holdsworth was with Tony L Williams' Lifetime yeah. and did those two classic records, Whatever phase he used or something was so part of his sound. Yeah. And this kind of... Even complex chords. Great, oh. man. It's great. So a little bit about the range. So you kind of decided how fa fast. It's yeah, we went through like that. Yeah. through that, and yeah. uh, so uh, I didn't get too crazy with the with the speed. No, because so I can kind of yeah. crank it up. But there's that that. Uh, that's the kind of Steve Hackett thing yeah. on uh, on Lamb. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of the song, but <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, and then it goes pretty slow as well. Yeah, I mean...
Yeah, I mean, it's very subtle at that, yeah. at that point. But, yeah, it almost but, becomes like just this filter that kind of moves right. the sound a little bit in the background. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can back it down, you can crank the feedback up a bit, so, you know, I think right. there's some really cool opportunities. In, in, I think so, know. yeah. I mean, I've, I, you know, it, it, it's... I haven't I haven't heard one bad thing oh, well. one bad sound out of it. I'm that's really, pretty. That's re a good start. I'm really impressed with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thanks so much for for downing this in. My my pleasure. I mean, you guys come up with all the stuff, and we you know us guitar players just go, yeah, it's great. <laughs> we get all the glory. And